To import a geometry, click Import on the Geometry tab and wait for it to load. The geometries will appear in the work tree. The Query Geometry command allows you to select geometries by their properties. The Selection tab allows you to select different hierarchies and view them on the model. Clicking the Properties tab allows you to query a geometry by property. Notice how the properties queried appear in the terminal. To delete a geometry, click and drag to perform a crossing selection and then press Cancel. Let's look at how to create geometries. Click Point and click the workspace to place your point. Click Line and click to set the points of your line. Splines can be set through points or control points by setting the degree and clicking your desired points. Draw a rectangle by clicking the first corner and then the opposite corner. Draw a circle by clicking the center point and clicking the outer perimeter. An ellipse is created in three sets. Click to set the center, the first ellipse axis, and then the second ellipse axis. The arc of the ellipse is created following the same three steps and then clicking to select the section of the arc you desire. All these commands can be executed by typing the command into the terminal and typing the XYZ coordinates to enter the points. Let's look at surface commands. Base 3 quarters creates a surface from three or four planar points. Let's switch the view and view it from the top by clicking View Top on the Quick Access panel. To model the Planar Curves command, let's quickly draw a few different curves to the work plane. Click Planar and, using a cross window, select the geometries and right-click to execute the command. Notice how they are now all planar faces. Let's delete those to make room. Loft creates complex surfaces from non-planar curves. We've drawn an arc of an ellipse and now we can view it from the top. Let's create a copy of it and then return to the 3D view. Clicking Loft will open an editing window. Choosing a ruled algorithm, let's apply it to the arcs. Panning the view, we can now see how the Loft command created a surface between the two arcs. All surface commands can also be generated using the terminal window. We can create a sphere by clicking Sphere and assigning a center point and then the radius. To make a parallel pipette, select the command, click to set the first two corners, draw the face, and then click to set the height. A cylinder can be made in a similar way. Click to set the center, then click to set the radius, and finally, to set the cylinder height. Solids can be generated exclusively also using the terminal window by typing the commands and then the coordinates of the points. Geometries can be moved to a new position using the move command simply by selecting the geometry and clicking to move. Copy will make a copy of the solid in a new location, leaving the original. Rotating the geometry offers two choices. Transforming it rotates the shape along an axis. Select the geometry, click to set the center of rotation and the first reference point, and click to set the new position. The scale command allows a choice of how to scale the geometry. Select it, click to set the base point, then the scale factor, and finally the end point. The mirror command allows us to mirror the geometry by setting a line of symmetry. After selecting the geometry, click to set the point of the line of symmetry. Moving to the edit commands, let's draw a rectangle. The explode command will explode it into its subgeometries. The compound command will make a compound of the selected geometries. These will all appear in the shape tree. Let's draw two line segments to demonstrate the make wire command. The command will make a wire out of the two line segments. Moving on, let's draw a face using face three quarters to model the sew faces command. We need to create a copy that shares an edge with the first. The sew faces command will sew the faces along the shared edge. The results will be shown in the terminal window and in the shape tree on the work tree panel. The sweep command will extrude geometries along a path. First, select the profile shape and the spine shape. Notice how the geometry was swept along its edges to create four vertical faces. To extract a geometry, select it and select the item to extract. This extract can then be manipulated separately from the rest of the geometry. Watch how we can move it separate from the rest. To extrude, select the geometry and click to set the end point. A face extrudes to a solid. Let's de-feature this angle. After selecting the command, click and then right-click the area we want to be regenerated. Notice how the angle has been restored. 
The Repair Fix command fixes model geometry problems. A window will open allowing you to choose various options. After choosing the elements you want to repair, select the geometries to repair fix. The terminal window will show the results of the repair fix. Let's draw a new face to model the reverse command, which inverts the normal direction of a geometry or surface. Click Show Hide Local Axes on the Quick Axis toolbar to view the direction. We can invert it by using the reverse command. Select the geometry, click the command, and then right click. Notice how the, the arrows have all changed to show the new direction. You can create a geometry set by selecting the geometries you want in a set, clicking New Sets, and naming the set. The new set will appear on the work tree under Selection Sets. Right-clicking it in the work tree will open a menu. Watch how we can select it. We can also right-click to open back up the menu and unselect it. 